<laughs> what is up everybody welcome back to the channel and welcome to the San Myshuno mini mart so in my last episode of the foremans or in the last episode of the foremans a lot of you guys were asking me about this mini mart and who created it I was actually surprised because I don't know I wasn't expecting the like so many people ask you know and like oh my god who created this mini mart I created this mini mart something I've been wanting to do um, is create more real life venues such as this one to kind of create more gameplay and depth to my whole LP experience and I actually use this mini mart for my current household as well I think it's just kind of a fun little place to visit now because this build is so complex I did kind of want to do a little bit of a talk through show you where I got some of the CC of course I'm gonna do a whole entire like website post where I'll link all of the assets that I use to create this bad boy so that you can find them too and then also I will upload this to the gallery now for the exterior you're not actually gonna need a lot of CC or if anything at all um, this whole entire like gas station part is actually to bug so are the vehicles in front um, and then even the actual build itself is all debug which is super duper cool so even if you didn't want to like download the CC you didn't have to now one thing I will say is that over here um, it looks like the actual gas station itself and then um, to the left there was this little like area like a little door almost for like a potty and so I downloaded this like porta potty mod so that sims can actually use this part of the build for some reason I don't have any issues with my sims using the porta potty like you can go right through this wall here um hold on I'm trying to get Caspian to stop dancing to the music and go use the loo hold on let me just like let me just reset him really quick he's so cute this is the this is the gas station owner by the way isn't he adorable I love him he's so cute okay he's gonna go and show you guys how you can use the porta potty in fact he's so enthusiastic about it he's sprinting so there you go you can use the porta potty that is a mod though that's probably the only mod that you're gonna need I'm trying to give this dude some privacy um in order to be able to have you know a functional a functional bathroom out here because inside as you all can tell we don't really have room for the the bathroom so let's talk about the goods like quite honestly <laughs> I have so many things going on in here um so when you walk in all right let's do it like this when you walk in you're gonna notice there are like some 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 produce items some household goods we have like a water bottle we have like this little um functional flashlight uh this apparently is getting a little dirty and needs to be cleaned but these shelves are actually cc as well um the little bags and stuff that you can see here this is all a part of the seriously complete cooking mod if you do install that you can actually kind of create your own little your own little um grocery store and this is like a convenience store slash mini mart so i wanted to i wanted to implement um you know some goods some canned goods some some condiments and things of that nature we have like a box of cereal and with the seriously seriously complete cooking mod uh you actually need ingredients to be able to cook your your food items so coming here for a quick a quick bite to eat or a quick ingredient is really convenient hence why it's called the convenience store <laughs> um over to the right i do actually have some chilled goods i don't believe that this is cc at all i think this actually came with um get to work so in here we have uh, a bunch of like faux meat we've got a couple loaves of bread some eggs some cheese some packaged meats which you can also snag on your way out this is refrigerated so they will stay cold um and then of course i have a little uh atm here that's actually not in its place this atm does indeed work so if you wanted to you could actually come over here and apply for some credit <laughs> say you didn't have enough money to pay for your pay for your convenience goods and you needed to come over here and apply for some credit you can there's a couple couple different options there so that's also a mod obviously we have some um shopping baskets just for the illusion over here we kind of have like i don't know what this would be called like a food bar or something um these chips are functional but you can't actually get to them because of where they're sat if that makes sense or placed so i do have another another stand on the counter that you can actually buy potato chips from and this is actually a part of the seriously uh complete cooking mod as well I do have a little coffee pot which is completely free so if you wanted to come in um, and grab a little grab a little coffee and mr. mr. Caspian he's very nice about allowing there to be some some free beverages we also have a couple um, vending machines too if you're just looking to buy a quick snack we have the guilt chip vending machine and then also I've got the so delightful vending machine so we've got you know some some snacks and I don't know actually what you can 
buy from these. Hold on, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna have Caspian go ahead and show you guys what you can purchase. So from the vending machine, you can get a whole bunch of stuff. You can get like cookies, croissants, chips, macaroni and cheese, basically like quick bites, I guess. Um, I did see like a little pizza box in there, so I was kind of confused. I'm like, can you get pizza too? And then for the drink vending machine, let's go ahead and see what options are available there too as well. So as you can imagine, this would be a lot of fun in your gameplay. Like come shop, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you do have this overhaul mod for the food, it just makes a lot more sense. So there's even like plasma packs, glasses of water, juice, and there energy seltzer glasses of milk just all sorts of fun stuff in case you didn't want to like shop on the stands and on the stands even though i showed you we got we've got soda um a bunch of those like ingredients bags too um i do have like a couple uh faux um detergents and stuff and the reason why i did this is because like in my vision i would have a sim like i want to create a laundromat <laughs> and I, I i could have a sim maybe come over and buy a bottle of detergent and then they could go and use the laundromat for free if that makes sense like that would be like that would be their like entry fee um i do have a couple coolers that are for sale they actually cool food this is a part of my story which you guys will see a little bit later for the four minutes and then um, behind the counter, we have some adult goods, right? So I actually have a bunch of electronics that you can purchase. Nothing too crazy or expensive. But all these electronics are actually from the plum fruit mod, at least these ones up here. And then I think these ones are from like around the Sims. We've got a couple stereos and then some base game items too. But these, these like I, uh, Apple products are from the plum fruit mod by Arnie. And then I've got some wine bottles that actually you can indeed drink out of, but you can't reach them. So they're just more for show. And then we have uh, some more adult products. We've got tampons and, you know, woohoo wrappers and even some breath mints with the dental mod that actually are functional so you can use your breath mints and then lower we have um, a pile of soot for some reason and a bunch of cerveza so this is actually one of the most um, requested mods that I was being asked about so these are actually from around the sims uh, and you can you can actually purchase them and have your sims drink them and you can even get these from like a fridge too as well do I have a fridge in here I thought I did did I not put the fridge in here like the mini fridge that's dumb, Jen. I didn't put a mini fridge in here. So there's actually supposed to be a mini fridge like right here. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Okay. Um, but yeah, you could, you can grab these from like the refrigerator for a fee, of course, and things of that nature. And then if you have base metal, um, there are a bunch of different types of cigarettes and cigars that you can also snag. Of course, some personal items. There's also some, um, I think this is like IB Pro. Oh, wait, no, this is a wonderful, oh yeah, you can read. <laughs> There you go. That's what that is. It's a box or you can buy it by the package. It's up to you. So yeah, there's like a lot of fun things that you can buy from here. And a lot of them actually have a purpose. If you have the mods, is he grabbing a drink? Oh my God, he is not. Um, if you have the mods, he's offering me a drink. Oh, well, thank you um, to go along with them. So that's kind of cool. And over here, we also have like a little, a little water tank, you know, of course, not everything in Caspian's convenience store does cost money. So if you're some thirsty and they need a drink, uh, they can come over here and snag one of those as well. There is a small little kitchenette in here for Caspian to prepare his lunch or, you know, for a sim, if they're in need, they need to prepare something, he'll let them use their little his little kitchenette and then obviously in the back we have um just like a trash can and like obviously a fire extinguisher and because a theft has been at an all-time high lately we have a bunch of these uh little cameras to make sure that there is no no sticky fingers happening in our san machino mini mart so in a nutshell that's pretty much what my mini mart consists of a bunch of mods to make it work but um it's really fun i love playing with this thing i think you guys would too I'll, again like uh again I sounded like that's all folks um, again like a lot of these items have a purpose so it's not like you're just purchasing it for no reason um, if you have wonderful whims or wicked whims the wrappers and the tampons and the, the period pads they have a functionality if you have base mental and your sim likes to, you know, puff, puff, pass, we've got that. Um, we've even got like some, I think we got some magazines and some, some roll packs, Philly rollable pack, you know, just stuff, you know, like whatever you would think would be at a convenience store. That's pretty much what's here. And again, if you have the mods, it's actually functional. One thing I wanted to know is that when I upload this to the gallery and you have all of the custom content needed to run the convenience store, you're going to actually have to have a sim own the show 
shop and then you're gonna have to come in and individually set all of these items for sale it does take about 10 real life minutes because there's over like 200 buyable objects in here or something crazy like that maybe it's like a little over like 150 um that could be a little tedious especially when it comes to like the beer rack but it's worth it i have a lot of fun with this convenience store and i have many more plans to make um a bunch of real life venues to come so if this is something you're interested in and in the future and you want me to record whenever i create these things let me know in the comments down below because this is kind of new for me and i wasn't sure how you guys would receive it but apparently y'all really like this so if you're interested in picking up the little corner mart I will go ahead and place this on the gallery at Gen 2606. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness. Hold on. I actually want to take a quick little picture. These are supposed to be blue, by the way, in case anybody was wondering what color these lights are supposed to be. I actually think the lights were already blue. It's just not dark enough for you guys to see it yet. But anyways, in a nutshell, that was my San My Shuno Mini Mart builders tour if you would call it that even i don't know what to name this but i wanted to show you guys since y'all were so interested and if you have any ideas for other like real life venues that you would like me to create please let me know in the comments down below and with that said i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here i hope that you all enjoyed and if you did you know what to do but don't forget to go ahead and comment rate and subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine and i will see you all next time